Hello everyone, today is July 16th, 2016. I was recently getting my car serviced and when I pulled into the bay I got behind this vehicle and I was wowed by it. Uh, it's from the sheriff's office and I got a close-up view of it and I touched it. Um, it's really hard, like a really hard iron body with all kinds of gadgets on it and um, I was able to take a picture of it I'm sure these are all over the place but I was just wowed by it it was so massive and so tall it literally almost came up to the top of the ceiling at the, with the particular bay that I was in um, and as you can see it's pretty powerful this is from the sheriff's office and over in this photo you can see the manufacturer, Lenco. Lenco makes these. So I thought, well, let me just go over to Lenco's website and see what's going on over there. And they have a rolling screen that shows a lot of their vehicles. And some of the captions our armored vehicle plays a big role in police standoff. A textbook case when police should use armored vehicles, Denver Post. Lowndes County Bearcat saves lives during armored standoff. Armed man opens fire on Marion County SWAT team. Police armored vehicles passes first major test. Morocco Auxiliary Forces receive 88 Bearcats. LAPD credits Bearcat with protection in morning showdown or shootout. Lenco armor to introduce Bearcat X3. Bearcat can now help fight fires while under fire. And it just keeps scrolling through different situations and photographs of these vehicles. You can go over to their website and see all their parts and accessories that they sell. This, this company is located in Massachusetts. Service and support. You can go there if you have any questions. Models, military, law enforcement, international inventory. Uh, let's see, military. You can see lots of these different military vehicles. Now I'm sorry but my town is pretty small and the budget for the sheriff's office is pretty tiny compared to most large cities so how in the world they're affording one of these vehicles it must be at least maybe a government grant um, I was talking to the showroom person in the bay where my vehicle was getting serviced he said one of these vehicles is about half a million dollars. So how in the world is my little town affording to buy one of these vehicles without the federal government's help? So our police force is being militarized and you know I haven't come close up close to one of these vehicles before. I was wowed by it. It was very tall and massive and I've never seen anything like it. Um, we're really, really at a disadvantage. The one I saw also had one of these lookout tubes and, and uh, I don't know what you call these little hubs you can get up in and look through. It was big. On the website they tell you to call for pricing. Grant help. You can check out this website. It shows you grant help. You want to write a grant to get one. Lenco provides a free step-by-step -step grant writing package to help you or your department secure funding. You can complete this form. Wow. Well, clearly this isn't your old um, Andy Griffith show police force. These vehicles are just a wow. 
check out this website. I'll link to it below. Have a great day, everyone.